All right, good morning, Citra. This is the weekly town update for the week of July 29, 2024. I am Susan Harrison, the vice chair of the select board, and I'm here with Jim Boudreau, our town administrator. I hope you all had a great weekend and were able to get outside to enjoy the summer weather. I am gonna run through some town board and committee meetings, as well as some updates for the week and hand it off to Jim for additional town updates. Monday, July 29th, that's tonight, Sister City Cape Verde meeting is at 6.30 at the Situate Town Library Large Conference Room. Tuesday, July 30th, um, tomorrow we have the Cole Parkway Redevelopment Committee at 6 p.m. at the small conference room in the Situate Town Library. We also have the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee meeting at 6.30, and that is remote via Zoom. That is all we have for meetings this week. However, there are a lot of events scheduled for the week. Uh, Wednesday, the 31st, is the fifth summer concert series at the library, and that's at 6.30 to 8 p.m., featuring Hula La, which is a Hawaiian-inspired performance. Bring lawn chairs and the kids to enjoy a beautiful, situate library garden for an evening of cultural enrichment. If it does rain, the show will be inside. Friday, August 2nd, um, there is a Veterans Coffee Hour at the Council of Aging at 9 a.m. Um, it is also First Friday Citrate Harbor Band Sedan Concert, and that's at Cole Parkway from 6 to 8 p.m. There is also an annual pie social hosted by the H Harbor United Methodist Church, and that is also at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. <laughs> Additionally, Situate Coastline Luminaria is at 8 p.m. along the seven miles of Situate's beautiful coastline that we will be displaying candle luminaria. The coastline will be lit up from Humrock to Minot, and the view from land or water is beautiful. There is also a lighted boat parade, Blessing of the Fleet, at 8.30 p.m. to 9 p.m., and that's Friday, the annual lighted boat parade, which is a kickoff to Situate Heritage Days. Boats line up just outside the harbor at around 8.15 and will enter Situate Harbor. Pastor Davidson from the Christ Lutheran Church will bless the fleet as it moves past the town pier. Bring your boat, or there are many spots to watch from the shore. Saturday, August 3rd, and Sunday, August 5th is the 55th Annual Heritage Days, and that's from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., the 55th Annual Family-Friendly Event in Citroën Harbor. There will be music, food, trucks, artisans, beer, wine, garden, boat races, baby animal petting zoo, kids' amusement rides, and much, much more. Um, Starting off on Saturday, August 3rd, the Rotary Club will have their 51st annual pancake breakfast, and that's at 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the Senior Center. It's a great way to start the day and fuel up for Heritage Days. Adults are $9, children $5, children under five are free, and families are $22. So it is a great deal if you have a very large family. Heritage Day boat races are at 10.30 a.m. at Museum Beach, including kayak, dory, working boat, paddle boards, homemade rafts, all age groups for the races, and that should be super fun. There is a great music lineup for both days. I'm hoping Seth will be showing the flyer and you won't be seeing me speak. Um, quite an impressive lineup for the weekend. There's Fairwinds, perfect example, Johnny Boy and the Blue Fish, Rive and the Joshua Tree, Tony Lynn, Master Child, AP Records Band, Heartland Radio, and Steve Smith, and the Nakeds, and Booty Vortex. So quite a great lineup. Mark your calendars for all that music. Um, Sunday, August 4th, um, which is day two of Heritage Days, and again, that starts at 9 a.m., there's a Lawson Tower Heritage, Heritage Days Bell Concert at 4 p.m. Lene Badger will play Summertime Favorites and more. So bring your blanket and snacks and enjoy the lawn seating. Um, Lawson Tower, as well as other historical sites, will be open for tours both Saturday and Sunday during Heritage Days. So um, note that from 1 to 4 p.m. for $3.00. Also this weekend on Saturday is the Cape Cod Bay Challenge in Situate, a 16-mile paddle starting at 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. from Duxbury. It's past Humrock up the South River. 
to benefit Christopher Haven, which provides housing for children and their families undergoing cancer treatment in Boston area hospitals. I am paddling again this year. We always get a great amount of support from people cheering on Hamrock Beach. So, wow, that's a lot of stuff going on in Situate. That is all I have. I'm going to turn it over to Jim for additional town updates. Jim? Good morning. Thank you. Uh, we'll start with our water update. The Tech Factory Ponds at minus two. Last week it was minus one. The reservoir is actually at minus 15. Last week was minus eight, so that's a substantial drop. Rainfall was 0 0.02 inches over the last seven days, so we do need some rain. Demand 1.615 million gallons per day. That's down slightly from the 1.682 of the previous week. Uh, we've had a lot of calls about the purple dinosaur. It has been inspected by an independent contractor. There are some punch work items that need to be completed. We're just waiting for the contract to come back and we can complete those. Uh, once we have the certification, then the purple dinosaur will be open. We're hoping to get that open as soon as possible. If you drive by the high school, you'll see that our AD is mobilized and we can work on the tennis court project. It's taking the four tennis courts that were there, making five tennis courts, so it'll be usable for varsity athletics. Uh, the temporary fencing has been installed. The old tennis court's been taken out. Well, the contractor started the earthwork on the back of the site. Drainage and base stone work have started. Light poles are expected this week. Once they come in, they will be installed, so people will see that. Uh, the project is scheduled to be completed by October or November, weather dependent. And our goal is to have the concrete work completed by the start of the school year. So we'll keep you updated on that project. A reminder to people who might be replacing their appliances or toilets that the rebate program has been extended through the end of this fiscal year, 6-30-2025. Rebates are available for qualified purchase of clothes washers, dishwashers, and toilets. Clothes washers and dishwashers are ranked on the Energy Star Most Efficient 2023 or newer list. Qualifying toilets must be certified by the EPA. Details can be found on the EPA's website or energystar.gov. Applications are on the Water Department website. If you have questions, you can call the Water Department, 545-8735. Uh, we want to remind people that a week from this Wednesday, August 7th, is National Lighthouse Day, and we'll be celebrating the relighting and the work done to renovate and situate light. Details will be posted on the town website. Uh, parking will be extremely limited at the lighthouse, and Cedar Point will be closed prior to the start of the event. We will be running shuttle buses for the middle school. Uh, so keep an eye on that. Again, details will be available on the town website. The Mass Department of Public Health has informed our, our Board of Health that a mosquito pool in Situate has tested positive for the West Nile virus. For information regarding mosquitoes from the Mass Department of Public Health, visit the Board of Health webpage on the town website, and you can see a link on the news on the right-hand side of the page for information on how to deal with that. Board of Health sampling on beaches continue. All beaches are open currently. Jericho Road water main project. We will continue testing on that system this week. You may see uh, temporary discoloration in surrounding areas of town. Please check and take necessary precautions before doing laundry and allow the water to flush if you do see brown water. Please let us know so we can use that as a data point. There will be no construction work on Jericho Road this week in anticipation of Heritage Days this weekend. Uh, finally, the food pantry is great for your assistance. They still do need assistance. You go to the food pantry website to find out their most needed items. They're available during regular pantry hours in the bins behind the old gates, the library, Shaw's, and Village Market. And that's what I have for today. Thank you, Jim, um, for those updates. Lots of great events happening in Situate this week. Hope you all can get out and enjoy the town in the summer. Have a great week.